I know VST rack is something you recently added to your system. It is. You, which you turned me on to it, which is thank you for that. Well, you're, yeah, you're welcome. I was like, I, I was missing the boat. So where is it? Yeah, I hide it right here in this lovely door because keep in mind, this is a tour rig. So it's kind of sitting right there with a switch and it goes right into the Dante card. So I just nice. organized it right there. So it kind of works out really well. And um, what are you using it for? I'm using it on the band mix and vocal mix currently. So it's basically uh, somewhat of an onboard system EQ just in case I need it and for color too. Great. Um, and I know, I mean, you're using the onboard EQ most yeah. of the time. I mean, yeah, talk a bit on about- the system, but on all inputs. And that's one of my favorite parts about the console is the different flavors of EQ, whether it's aggressive, smooth, or legacy. And I think legacy is probably the cleanest. So. It, you can literally say you have, you know, whatever, a keyboard or a guitar, and uh, Legacy is a little cleaner sounding, so it gets lower and wider, and if you go aggressive, it'll literally, it'll lift it in the mix. So you can literally listen to things, you can, so you can mix height, width, and depth with this console through the different EQ flavors. And that, I find that fantastic, which leads me to this EQ, where different filter types, like if I have an upper mid EQ, I can select an SSLE series or whatever. If it's a low mid, I can make it whatever else. No. So it's a wonderful EQ. And that's not a Yamaha, what no, EQ is No, it's that? a Kirchhoff EQ. It's a VST3 plugin that I downloaded, as you told me how to go about that. And I found that was my favorite, is sonically. So, Which, I mean, that's one of the strengths about VST Rack is open any, source. Yeah. Any VST3 plugin works. Yeah, it's fantastic. It. So, you kind of opened Pandora's box for me. Thanks for that. <laughs> so, but for guys who are trying to recreate sounds, I mean, instead of having to try to program oh, yeah. a sound on another EQ, I mean, yeah, you can you actually. You were telling me Paul can, was bringing his effects and things from the studio along right. with him on Miley. You know, you just, you, I could literally have one, throw it on the rack, patch it in. I'm, rocking and rolling. And so, get the preset that was used on exactly. the album mixed from the mix engineer and, exactly. and use the exact same preset live instead and, of having to try to recreate it. And there's so many great things in this desk between the Bricasti and you know all the, all the different reverbs, Eventide and all that. You can pretty much really match anything there is, I think, internally. You know, so it's a very powerful. That's great. Um, and how hard was it to integrate the VST rack? Was that a... Well, you and I took about five minutes, basically. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, super it's simple. It's like a do, 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 you know, yeah. Um, and I know you're not using this yet, but one of the things that's nice is that it has um, the scene recall that works. That's true. Um, yeah, because I'm using it in a totally different way now. That doesn't mean it's not going to evolve into something else as I see what's necessary because it's brand new to me. I haven't even hit the road with it yet. So. Yeah, I could auto-tune if I wanted to. I could do, there's a million different things. We could do effects-wise or whatever I, I deem, you know, necessary. And just like the console, you can have scenes on VST Rack. You sure and, can. And parameters can be yep. saved. They can or they can switch be right along with it. Or, so, yeah, it's it's really a great piece. Yeah, it's smart. Well, I love that you're uh, you're using it. Oh, I couldn't believe well it. Yeah, it was really good. So, yeah, thanks again.